Great, you've downloaded and installed OBS. Now it's time to create our first presentation. Hi, my name is Enrico, and I help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. In the previous videos, I've made a restaurant analogy, where OBS is the kitchen, where you find all the ingredients or all the elements that will constitute the presentation. You, as a chef, are taking those ingredients and putting them into a cooking pan. Assemble them, spice them up, until you're ready with the presentation. You'll use the virtual camera as your waiter that will take the presentation from the kitchen to your video conferencing platform, that is, the table where your guests or audience are eating, or in other words, consuming your content. Today, we're starting preparing a very simple meal, like a sandwich with ham. That will be your first OBS presentation. And by the end of this video, you will have a final product that you can use already at your next video call. Let's go do it! Let's rename the first scene that comes by default with OBS and call it Webcam with Logo and Lower Third. First ingredient that we want to put in the cooking pan is our logo. So let's open the cupboard by clicking on plus and then picking an image source. Let's call it Logo and browse the computer to select the file. If you don't have a logo, just pick whatever image you like. The second ingredient is the lower third. That's a text with your name. So let's click again on plus, select a text source, give it a name like lower third, click on OK and insert your name in the text box. As you type, you see the text appearing in the preview window. We have plenty of options to format it. I'll change the font and select Calibri Bold. We can then select a background color. Click on Select Color and the color panel will open. Here you can choose from the basic colors or pick a screen color or insert the RGB or hex value of your brand color, for example. If you think this is a color you're going to use many times, it's worth adding it to the custom colors. It will always be available for you, like I've already done here with yellow. Click on OK and wait a second, nothing happened. That's because the background opacity is set by default to zero. In order for the background to appear, you have to use the slider. If you want it to be completely opaque, just put it up to 100%. If the value is below 100%, the background will be transparent at a certain extent, so you'll be able to see objects underneath it. I can't read white on yellow very well. So I will also change the color of the text. Go to Color and then click on Select Color. Same color dialog box will appear. And I will choose black, for example. Now it looks better. The text is now a little bit too close to the background edges, so I will add a space before and after the text. When a source is selected, you'll see a red frame with handles appearing around it. With a selected source, you can click on it and drag and drop it around to move it on your output screen. If you want to resize it, just click on any handle and drag and drop it. So let's make the text a little bit smaller and place it at the bottom left. I will now take the logo and place it at the top right. Make it a little bit bigger and that's it. Now the last ingredient we have to throw in the cooking pan is the camera. So let's open the ingredient cupboard again by clicking on plus. In OBS, a camera source is called video capture device. Let's click on it and name it webcam. Click on OK and then from the devices list, select the camera that you intend to use. I'm using my mirrorless camera with a CamLink capture card. So CamLink 4K is the name of my camera. There we are. Now I see the camera, but the logo and lower third have disappeared. Well, that's because sources in OBS work as layers. What is on top covers what is underneath it. What we have to do is to click on the source, drag it underneath the other two and then drop it. And voila, we have the camera and on top of it, the logo and the lower third. Also, the camera source as any other source can be resized. If we select it, the red frame will appear. We can simply drag the handles to make it bigger. Now notice the diagonal stripes. That means that the source is larger than the output window. What your audience will see is only what is contained in your window. Anything that is outside of it will not be broadcast. Resizing the camera may be useful if you want to hide any objects in your background, for example. Okay, let's reposition the graphic elements so the logo is not hiding my lamp behind me. And I think we're good. You can also crop any source. You do that by pressing the Alt key and then clicking on one of the handles on the horizontal or vertical edges. Once cropped or resized, you can always go back. 
our first presentation is ready to go out of the kitchen. Let's call the waiter. We do that by clicking on Start Virtual Camera. Now let's open a video conference meeting, for example a Zoom meeting, but the same will apply to any other platform. And then from the list of video devices, select OBS Virtual Camera. And that's it! You've built your first OBS scene or your first course in the restaurant menu. Bon appétit! I know this is just a ham sandwich. Now, if you want to create a full five-star menu, I have a course for you. Click on the link below now to become a remote presentation hero. But before you go, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch this video. Thank you.